Yo, what is good, y'all? It's your boy Cody, man, back with another one. What's up, you guys? What's happening? Hopefully, everybody's doing well, having a great day, staying safe, blessed, and all those good things above, okay? Man, do I got something for you guys today. Um, I did a review on uh, Onbox Streaming Box 4K Pro, okay? which is what I'm on right now, all right? <clears throat> and as you guys can see, it has all this stuff here. You know what I mean? It has all these advertisements, okay? There's a way to get around this, okay? And I'm about to show you guys today, there is a, a launcher called ATV Launcher, okay? Is similar to um, is similar to the uh, launcher wolf launcher and it works very very super well okay and it's in the Play Store okay it's in the Play Store the only thing we have to get is launcher manager and I'm gonna show you in this tutorial how to go get it and then you download ATV and then we, we're good to go okay but before we do that you guys hit that thumbs up show your boys some support man i appreciate it much love to you guys man you guys are the best okay so let's go ahead and let's get started all right first thing we have to do is we have to go all the way up and we have to go to um settings okay and then we have to go down here to system and then go over here to about okay and then go over again and then go all the way down to you see Android TV OS build. Okay, you're gonna click that seven times until it says you are now a developer. Okay. Once it says you are now a developer, you have developer option mode. Okay. Which is right here. Okay. So you want to go over and you want to go down. And you want to turn on USB debugging, okay? You want to turn this on and allow this, all right? And let's go back out of here, okay? And let's go to the main screen. And what I want you to do is I want you to go to your apps and I want you to download um, Downloader, okay? We're gonna need Downloader for this tutorial. Okay, I'm just gonna show you that is in here I already have it installed but it's in here and this is what what you're gonna need um, hold on misspell a little bit er okay so if you go down here to search you'll see it's right there okay so all you got to do is click on it and mine says open, but yours will say install. So just install it. Okay. And let's open this up. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go and go get the launcher manager. Okay. Um, wait, hold on. Let's go all the way down to the bottom. And as you can see, downloaders right here. Okay. So let's open it up. And let's go up you go up one time and then click on in the middle okay to open up the menu bar and uh, the keyboard all right so we're gonna put in this code which is okay shout out to my dude Troy point man for this one you guys he makes it so much easier for you guys to get it and um, it's really really nice and he also has some very good um, apps in here too also that you might want to check out but that is the downloader code is 250931 okay and all you have to do is simply hit your back button and go down to go when it's highlighted and click go okay and then click on Troy point toolbox okay now this is this his toolbox okay he has some um he has some stuff in here 
that you guys can go through okay um that you might like okay but what we're gonna do is we're focusing on um the launcher manager okay so we're gonna go all the way down Let's see right here okay launcher manager 1.40 for android tv for android tv box such as on google tv nvidia shield me cool google tv okay so you can download this okay and it's going to ask you to install it you'll have the settings you have to un, um go in and unknown it and click on unknown sources and, and open it up so you can install it okay just click install okay and then click done don't open it up and then click delete because you don't want to keep this in your box so just delete it out okay and just hit your home button okay and as you can see right here launcher manager is in here okay so let's go back up here to to the top let's go over here to apps let's go down here to search for apps and i'm just going to type in atv and it'll come up okay i'll show you atv and then you hit search it is a it's the first one atv launcher pro okay now you guys this costs like two dollars and 13 cents but once you pay for it you don't have to pay for it again okay and it's and you can use it on as many as boxes as you want okay um so go ahead and click on it yours is going to say to buy mine's saying install because i already bought it okay so click install and then you want to go to all then you want to hit your home button hit your home button again <laughs> and then you want to go down and as you can see atv launcher is installed okay so let's go over here to launcher manager okay let's click on it okay you got options enable custom launcher disable custom launcher or custom launcher uh, options so the only one you really need is enable custom launcher okay so click on it and it switches to that atv launcher if you say if it if it says atv launcher current launcher then that means it switch to it so all you gotta do is hit your home button and there you go you just installed atv launcher okay so now if you hold down on one of the icons you get the menu for it okay uh which you can do different stuff you can move it configure it uninstall it app information create a folder manage sections launcher settings sections settings and android settings okay so <clears throat> let's just try to create a section okay so you go to manage sections and it's set up you guys just like um wolf launcher okay so um what you do is go all the way down here to add section and click on it and click it again and i'm just gonna um i'm just gonna capitalize all this because i like capital letters and i'm just gonna put um cody B U I L D S because I do have the Cody section, okay? So I'm gonna go and hit apply, okay? And I'm gonna move this up in the middle because I want it in the middle. You can move it wherever you want, okay? You can put it wherever you want, but I like mine in the middle, okay? And we just gonna, do, I'm just gonna do one for, uh, uh for the video purposes to show you okay so if you go back out you now have that section okay so if you go down here like like this right here is a uh 
it's a it's a Cody build, so I'm gonna go to move to section and press Cody build. Okay. And you can do this for and you can make any kind of section, you guys. Anything you want, any kind of sections, you can name it anything you want. You can do anything you want, okay? So I'm just gonna move all this that I have. See, I got another one down here. It's a Cody fork. So I'm gonna move it to my um my Cody builds right here. So here's all my Cody builds. So I can do this. I can make sections for all the rest of them and stuff. And um, also, if you click on it and you go all the way down here to launch your settings <coughs> and you go down here to where it says hidden apps, okay? Say there's an app on there that you don't want to be seen. You want to be hidden. Okay, if you go down here to hidden apps and click on it, shows you all the apps you guys that are inside your uh that is inside your system okay so say you want to hide avt launcher you just click on it and it hides it okay say you want to hide this you click on it and it hides it okay um say you want to click on games you just click on it click on this Okay, say you want to, I'm just gonna leave everything else the same, okay? So you could do that too. And also if you click on it and you go down here to launch your settings and you go down here to wallpaper, you can add your own wallpaper, you guys. So you just click on application wallpaper and then click select wallpaper. And I do have some wallpaper inside here in my storage that I'll show you. So you just go down wherever your wallpaper is, click on it. Mine's in my download. And uh, as you can see, here's my wallpaper. So I'm gonna click on it and it's installing the wallpaper. And as you can see, my wallpaper is in the background, okay? So you can do that. You can do all kinds of stuff, you guys. You can configure it and you can change the the border around it, you can make it more round, okay? So you guys can do all kinds of stuff with this. Have fun with it, change it the way you like it, the way you want it, okay? And it's very, very nice and it's very, very easy. And you don't see all those advertisements anymore, okay? You make it the way that you want it, okay? But yeah, um, that's pretty much it, you guys. That's how you get it on there. Much love, much respect to you guys. I totally appreciate all you guys' love and um, showing me some love and coming back when I, because I just been out for a long time, you guys, because, you know, some things. But I'm back. I'm doing my thing again. And um, we're going to see how this rolls. Okay. But um, I'm probably going to have a live show probably sometime this weekend. We're going to go a little bit more over this box, okay? So you guys have a great one. You guys stay safe, stay blessed. And hey, I'll most definitely see you guys on the next one. Peace out.